Hey everyone and welcome back to my first vlog of 2023. I am starting a three day trip today. I hope everyone had a very happy new year. We are getting ready to take our, well, we have started taking our Christmas things down. I'm going away so he's gonna finish putting them away while I'm gone. If you're new to my channel, I am a Miami-based flight attendant and today I am starting a trip out of Fort Lauderdale. So when you're Miami-based, you have the, I guess, option and you might be assigned to work a trip out of either Fort Lauderdale or West Palm Beach. And luckily for me, I get to fly out of Fort Lauderdale on this trip because it is just 10 minutes away from my house as opposed to Miami it's just like what like 40 minutes away so no, it could be longer or longer yeah depending on traffic so my bag is pretty heavy today because I'm going to Denver which is really cold so I have like sweaters and jackets warm stuff you know also I have my lunch box which is full of food healthy snacks you know everyone during the new year everybody wants to be healthy and I'm jumping on that bandwagon and luckily for me today I have a chauffeur to the airport so he's making my life a lot easier because usually I'd have to go to the employee parking and wait for the shuttle and that can add just like an extra 30 minutes to your travel time to the airport so now he's just dropping me off right at the terminal so that's really nice and convenient so thank you let's head over to Fort Lauderdale Airport ready to go I got everything I'm ready, you ready? Yeah, I think I got everything. I haven't worked in six days. I got back on December 31st, and today is ju January 7th, 2023. Time to get back to work. Bye, little girl. I know I've been home with you for a few days, or for six days. I miss you. Thank you for dropping me off. See you in three days. Bye. And I think that is my airplane right there. All right, let's go into the terminal, go through security and go to the plane. I have made it here to my hotel room in Denver. It's very late. Well, it's late for me. Uh, it's 10.30 p.m. here in Denver. It's a two hour time difference from the East Coast. So it's 12.30 my time and I should be asleep. But this is my hotel room. Very nice, two kinks or two queen size beds rather. I'll show you my view tomorrow because it's so dark out there. You really can't see too much. Let's go check out that bathroom. All right, very clean looking as well. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then I'm gonna do my nighttime skincare routine. Did I mention how cold it is here? It is freezing. It is, I'll tell you right now, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not about that life. So first thing that I do is I cleanse my face. So I'm using the Trader Joe's Micellar Cleanser and makeup remover. I don't wear makeup, but it still cleanses your face. But yeah, guys, today I worked two flights for Lauderdale to Chicago, Chicago to Denver. Everything went really smoothly. The flight from Chicago to Denver actually wasn't really full at all. We had like 80 open seats. It was really nice. It was a nice little break, but the flight from Fort Lauderdale to Chicago was very full. Right now we're on the tail end of like all the holiday travelers. I think everyone starts school back up in a couple of days. Yeah, so this is like the last weekend of holiday travel. And then it should be slow in the airline industry for maybe a couple of months until spring break starts back in like, I think it's March and April. Oh, and on this three day trip, I'm flying with an all-male crew. That rarely happens that you fly with an all-male crew. Anywho, all right, next thing is I'm gonna do some 
All right, next thing is, I just started doing this, is the Kiehl's uh, Retinol. I've been doing this every night. So I put like two pumps in my hand, and then I just apply the retinol all over my face. I do it once a day, and I've been doing it before bed. <clears throat> and since we know how um, the airplane can make your skin really dry, I've really been trying to take care of my skin lately. Now that I apply the retinol, I'm now using Trader Joe's Hyaluronic Boost Serum. So I put two pumps of that. So this Denver layover is 17 hours. We don't have to leave till 2.15 p.m. tomorrow. So I pretty much have all morning to just sleep in. I can go get a workout in. So I'm looking forward to that. It's nice to not have to get up so early, so. And last but not least, my CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It's a p.m. version, but I use it in the a.m. and the p.m. And now my face is nice and moisturized before bed because since it is so cold here i'm definitely gonna have the heater on and as you know the heater can make your skin really dry i'm gonna try not to have the heat on too high but i get really cold so and i think that's all i have to say right now i'm really exhausted so i'm kind of like out of it right now i'm gonna go to bed and i'll talk to you guys in the morning the next day just got out of bed a little while ago i actually woke up here at 6 15 because that's 8 15 my time the sun wasn't even out yet but as you can see the sun has come into my room now i can finally show you guys my view so as you can see there is some snow right there on that room Rooftop. But yeah, this is my view. I am downtown right now. I put my breakfast sandwich in my hot logic a little while ago, so now it's ready for me to eat. And then I'm gonna go and get a workout at the gym. So this is my sandwich, this is what it looks like. I got a breakfast sandwich maker for Christmas, and I love it. It's my new favorite thing. I'll show you guys on another video how it works. But it's basically just an English muffin, cheese, Canadian bacon, and one egg. All right, time to go to the gym. I normally go to Orange Theory, so I'm going on the Orange Theory Reddit. And I'm just gonna do the workout from Orange Theory, but I'm just gonna do it here at the hotel gym. Oh, and I have my, um, so I have my fat burner here and I have L-carnitine. That was exhausting. I did 30 minutes of cardio. So like I said, I followed the Orange Theory workout for today. And then I just did some weights. So while I was gone, I had my hot logic heating up. I was heating this Tupperware of mac and cheese. And if you're wondering, this hot logic is the best. The plastic does not melt. This has literally been on there for, I would say about an hour. Not melting, no residue on my heating plate. So yeah, this is a mac and cheese. It's a protein mac and cheese. I tried it when I was home. It was really good. <laughs> and sorry, I'm so out of breath. I'm really out of shape. Or I. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna relax for a little bit in about an hour or so It's time to get ready and head to the airport today. We're flying two flights Denver to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Norfolk I don't know how you say it. I heard someone else say it differently yesterday But the other way sounded kind of like had a curse word in it <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna end up in Norfolk, Virginia tonight. Look <laughs> look how stuffed my bag is It's because I have a jacket in there and I have a sweater time for me to leave this hotel and get this day started. Today we're flying on the A321, the Airbus. Yesterday we were flying on the 737. So when you're a flight attendant, you can fly on different aircrafts on one sequence. So today we're on the 321, and tomorrow I think we go back to the 737. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. room another day and oh my goodness a, I have not seen one of these little TVs since like the early 2000s we are currently in my hotel room here in Norfolk and again it's dark so I can't really show you guys but you might be able to see that there are some pretty tall buildings I think we're downtown again it is 1 12 
a.m. and I'm ready for bed. I'm gonna film a TikTok really quick on my nighttime skincare routine. I know I showed that to you guys last night, but today I'm gonna do it for TikTok and Instagram and for YouTube Shorts. Tomorrow we're dead heading back to Charlotte and then we're gonna work the last flight to Fort Lauderdale for the night and then I'll be done with this trip tomorrow. So I'm so excited to be going back home. I used to love three day trips and now I think I'm more of a two day trip kind of guy. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. The next day. Good morning, it's another day. It's about 10 a.m. I actually woke up two hours ago, but this is the first thing that I'm eating or first thing I'm drinking. I actually woke up first thing I wanted to do was edit the recent Instagram reel and TikTok that I just made um, about my nighttime routine. So go check it out if you guys haven't yet. I had to edit it and I don't know, I just love editing, which is one of the reasons why I love doing YouTube. Like The editing process to me is so much fun. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just making my athletic greens. But yeah, I love editing, so that's what I just did for like the last hour when I did the voiceover. So my morning was pretty busy. Other than that, I'm just about to have my drink and then I'm just gonna chill out. I'm not gonna work out today. Um, I need a rest day. So my pickup today from the hotel is around 1.15. So I don't have that much time here. Oh wow, it's a gorgeous day here. I don't know why the weather forecast said that it was gonna rain, but it's really nice out. Maybe it'll rain later, but for now it does not look like it's gonna rain. So anyways guys, this is my first time here in Norfolk, Virginia. I don't have that much time here in the hotel because we're getting picked up around 1.45. Today we get to deadhead to Charlotte. Deadheading basically is like you're on the flight as a passenger. You are still on duty, you are still getting paid, but you're sitting down as a passenger. There is an actual working crew on the flight but the airline just needs to get us my crew to the next city so that way we can work our flight from there on easy day today thank goodness and then i'll be home tonight around 9 9 30 p.m and i gotta call john after we land because he has to come and get me from the airport luckily we live like 10 minutes oh i got a text luckily we live 10 minutes from the airport almost time to go and i'm looking at myself in the mirror and i'm realizing that i have not a haircut in three weeks i like to get my haircut at least every two weeks i think that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow on my day off but just so you know, of all the food that I brought with me on this trip, the only thing that I have left is this chicken, or is this egg salad. So that's what I'm gonna have today. I'm gonna finish off my egg salad, and I have not spent one penny on this trip on any food, which is one of the beauties of bringing your own food is that you don't have to spend money on expensive airport food. And I know I've said this on other videos. I just can't stress it enough. I just love bringing my food with me. By investing a little time at home cooking, you save yourself a ton of money. Anyways, I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs> Over three day trip is over. I need to rush and get outside because John's waiting for me. It's not a very busy night here at Fort Lauderdale Airport. Probably because the holiday weekend just ended. Everyone went back to work, back to school. There they are. Who is that? Did you guys miss me? Hello, my little angel girl. Hi. I missed you so much. You got a kiss too? <laughs> Did you have a nice little break for me? <laughs> Not long enough. Not long enough. <laughs> wow. We both missed you. Especially the little, little one here. Yes, she missed her mommy. So tomorrow, he starts school again. So for those of you who are new to the channel, it's his last semester of getting his Master's of Fine Arts. Because we get this question all the time. What does John go to school for? Master's of Master's in Fine Arts or of Fine Arts? Of Fine Arts. Of Fine Arts. So he goes back to school tomorrow for your last semester? Yeah, this is my last semester. Final, and then the real world begins. I'm back home, and all the Christmas stuff is officially gone. He even took down the Christmas tree while I was gone. Aww. I'm tired. I should get paid for this. You should get paid for what? Taking stuff. For cleaning stuff up your own house? <laughs> doing everything here. Everything I do everything here, people. I want you to know that. Yeah, okay. So everything holiday-ish is gone, except for one thing, or two things. Can you spot the items? 
Wait, two things. There's another thing left? Yeah, the blanket right there. Oh, but we usually put that away somewhere, right? And then the gingerbread house. We gotta put that away. Anyways, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell for post notifications. Sorry, this house is like, has the worst lighting. Oh, this is pretty good right here. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Leave me some comments down below. And to everyone who I met on this trip, because I met two people. I met Brandon and I met Ray, who both work for my airline, and I met them in Charlotte. And yes, we have to replace our smoke detector battery. Tomorrow morning, they'll come. So shout out to everyone who I met, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye. Bye.